Hey, what is up YouTube? So thank you very much for checking in. Um, I haven't been making videos in the past two weeks because I've been just very busy with work and there's a lot of things I need to get done. Um, so I just found some time this morning to really just uh, make a video to talk about uh, the emphasis and, uh, and contrast in the web design space. Um, so how do you make contents pop? How do you get people's attention to looking at what you want to tell them? How do you tell a story through um, different elements? Um, so this video you're going to learn all that. So let's check it out. Um, so when we're talking about this whole like emphasis and contrast thing um, So there's like one concept. I want to tell you guys first before I go into um, the, the, the emphasis part so the concept is called the visual weights um, If you're a designer for a long time, then you probably know what I'm talking about here so the visual weights is something that um, it, it, it determines the object is heavier or lighter on a page um, so you can increase the visual weights by increasing the size of an element just like what you're seeing in here right now the bigger circle definitely has a heavier visual weight than the smaller circle um, so your your attention your eyes is going to look at the bigger one not the smallest one first so that's how you can you can play around with visual weights with the with the size of an object and the second one is the colors of an object as well like think about like when a, when a, when an object has like a darker hue, darker tone, and that object has a heavier weight than a lighter tone, lighter hue one as well. Just like what you're seeing in here right now, this blue bar, the darker tone one definitely feels a lot heavier than the lighter tone one, right? See what I mean? Great. Okay, so that's about, that's all about like visual weights. If you want to like learn more about visual weights, um, again, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. You can check that out, and they're gonna tell you a bunch of things about like visual weights, what it's about, all the details. So now, how can actually apply visual weights into your web design web pages? Um, so how does that work, right? So right now, when you look at like this line, what you're gonna see here is like eight circles. They all have the same kind of visual weights in here, and they're boring. But how can you make them more interesting? How can you increase the visual weight to make a content pop? So one of the very important thing about like web design, at least like for the things that I'm working on right now, for the projects that I do, I always try to have like some kind of thing that direct people attention to look at, the things that I want to tell them to look at. There is must be like something that is more important in the page than something that is not as important. So you want people to look at something first and second. You want to direct their attention, right? So that's the whole goal about this lesson. You want to direct people attention. So again, back to this line. How can you direct people attention in looking at the content that you would like to tell them? One of the way in here that works is like you can again use color, right? So when everything is black, it's very black. How can you highlight one of these elements, right? You can have like one circle to be blue, then now boom, when you look at this right now, right? You, your attention definitely gonna focus on that blue circle than the other one. So this is a, one of the way that you can highlight the content you would like to tell people using color. So secondly, right? I just said that you also can <clears throat> use the um, the uh, the, op the sizes of an object to um, make the visual impact increase visual weight. So right now on this slide you have four circles. How can you play with these four circles? How can you like use this four circle to tell a story, right? With using the uh, the sizes like scaling up and down the circle, then if you look at this slide right now, I have the biggest circle on the left side and then I have the smaller circle and then the smaller circle down the bottom. So your eyes is definitely gonna focus on the biggest one and then the middle one and then the smallest one. That's how you tell the story, right? So that's how you direct people's attention and look in the thing. That is important. Um, so how does that actually work in a, in a real life situation, right? When you're working on a web page right now, how can you make this kind of like visual pop elements on the page and how can you direct people's attention to looking at the things that you would like to tell them? Um, there's actually a lot of like things that on the websites that you're not aware of. You're just looking at it, but you're not aware of it. But the designer has play, um, has played with like all this like visual elements, visual weights, 
um, to to tell a better story. So how does it actually is right? So if you look at this like this next slide right now, um, you can see that there's a paragraph. There are block of content, and there are also like some kind of like very small description test. So what is your attention is going to focus in here right now, right? Most of these is like because of the header. Some sometimes like the header. Why would you make that a header? Because that's that's like some of the entire paragraph that they're gonna look at, right? So you definitely want to emphasis on that header test. So one thing also to keep in mind is like when the contract is more, the bigger, um, the more interesting um, the design seems to be. So if your contract is more, then the page is gonna be more interesting. I don't know why, but just visually, it just make that thing more interesting. Um, so right now, the second real life uh, situations, right? So you, you're gonna play with this a lot when on a website or on a web page. Let's say you have like three box of contents that you would like to lay out on your page. How are you gonna lay this out? Um, this is how I'm gonna do it. So you, you can see that I enlarge one of the box to be bigger than the other ones. So you see like the big box is on the left side right now and it's two smaller box on the right side. Um, so your attention is definitely gonna look at the big box and then the smaller boxes, right? But let's try to like just give this thing more more colors and you will know like how I'm actually, sometime I will, I will play exactly, like this is exactly how I will do uh, sometime when I'm playing around with the design and just try to give you some colors right now. And again, boom. So when you see in here right now, blue boxes, yellow boxes, red boxes. Your attention is definitely on the blue boxes and sometimes right, the blue boxes is like, hey, we're good, we're, we're awesome. So look at that. And then now, you know what? Like there's some something else you might wanna look at as well. And then the second boxes and the third boxes, right? So that's how you drive your attention to be looking at the blue boxes first. Biggest thing, smallest thing, so smaller thing. It makes the page a little more visually interesting than like making three boxes the same equal weight. So now in every video, I'm trying to like show you some of the work on my portfolio website to kind of uh, tell you what I mean by this lessons, like how do I apply this thing that I'm talking about in the video um, to be in some like actual live example. Um, so if you look at my website right now, this work is called screen work. And then in the first first section, you can see that how I play with the uh, visual um, elements and the emphasis between like content. So you can see at the, the content box in here, it's definitely less heavier than the infographic because I want people to focus on the infographic, right? So infographic here, um, I want people to look at this first and then this, uh, this content on the side. And down below here, this is lighter than this section. So there's not again another contrast between the sections. Um, I'm not talking too much about like contrast between section in this video, um, but that is going to be the next video. Um, so down below this section here, this is very similar to like what I just showed you guys, right? As an example, imagine if I lay out these four boxes here um, equally spaced out, um, equally height. Um, this is not going to be as interesting as like popping one of the elements larger right so you can see what i play with it here is that's like i have the very first box to be uh, the largest one so you want people to definitely look at this product first and then especially when i say like featured products right so i definitely want people to look at one product so i can feature that product um, but all this is features but one is bigger than the other one so i kind of make them to be different sizes so there's a visual distinct between like all these elements and visual interest to be on this one first so it's down below as well. Um, again, I want people to focus on this section first. So definitely this is heavier than the content itself. Um, you do want to look at the contents, but you want to know like what this section is about. Um, so that's why here is the big infographic and then down below just the footer area. So that is all for the video guys. I really hope that you find the information helpful and I hope that like this, this stuff can potentially help you to create something better than what you're currently designing right now. And if you liked it, please subscribe to this channel and I'm gonna have like a lot of similar content that I'm pushing out. And for the next lessons, I'm gonna talk about like how did you lay out a page. Um, just like some of the things that I cover in the uh, portfolio showcase as well. Um, how do you actually lay out a page? How do you get the products back from your clients? And how do you like, keep these information that I just talk about in mind? Um, creating contrast between the sections and all that. 
um, so how can you lay out a page that is more visually interesting so this is the thing that I'm going to talk about in the next video um, but until the next one um, if you want to check out some of the stuff that I created in the past I did talk about like surviving as a freelancer and all this good stuff as well so go back and check out some of the videos I created before um, so before the next one um, stay tuned guys I'll see you later